hand over the uh, Gamex. And can you get the uh, Arctic uh, Silver and the uh, Isopropyl Alcohol and everything else? Where's the Arctic Silver? Uh, it's laying on a shelf. Yeah, if we break this, uh, it's all his fault if we break it. If it works, it's all my fault. That's good that they have destructions on them. Yeah, well, I think Intel kind of assumed that usually people would upgrade these things after some amount of time. What does AMD think? Oh, AMD thinks no, I just, when it starts on fire, that's good. Sorry, AMD. We don't support you. Alrighty. Wow, that is not a lot of thermal paste that was actually on there. <laughs> that was barely any thermal paste on there at all. Are you sure it even has to be removed? Uh, what do you mean? There's hardly even any on the bottom of those. Oh, not for, no, that doesn't have to be removed unless you want to. No, I'm talking about do you even have to remove that? Yeah, otherwise the compounds would mix. Oh, that's happen. The compounds to mix. Holy crap, is this band dusty. We're talking about, like, thick globs of dust on yeah. there. And this band's only been in use for, like, three months. So I'm telling you, the dust is pretty insane. The graphics card gets the dust on it. That it's band sloppy. is sharp! Yeah, it is. That just cut me! And if you pay close attention, you can see it was manufactured at Foxconn. The difference between this and paper towel is that this is, was well, like partially cotton and it'll stay together and it won't have pieces break off. Couldn't we just use like $100 bills for those? What do you mean bills? $100 bills won't break apart. No, but they're kind of dirty, so this is clean. So. But a clean one from the mint. Uh, yeah. Um, this is the, uh, the most scary part of the process, admittedly. You see this little uh, thing here? I don't think that's supposed to be there. Let me see, let me see. Yeah. So, um, I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be there, so if you can try to take that off somehow, I would be very appreciative. You see how that thing is there? Well, that probably stops it during shipping. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, but I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be on there when it's an actual operation. No, probably not. I don't think all guiding is supposed to sniff that. Um, no, you generally aren't supposed to sniff alcohol. It stinks. All I can say is, thank you, Linus Tech Tips. Without you, I'm not actually sure we would have any computers. I need to put this here as we go. Oh shoot, I lost part of this in the metal. What do you mean? It's up there now. What? I lost it, it got loose in the blade and then it traveled. I mean it traveled. I need a pen or something. What did you do? You I did you the easiest task ever out here! Repairing a $200 piece of technology and you're like trying to get a $20 fan door. <laughs> I have fat fingers. Oh my god, what have you done? What? Oh, this metal on the radiator is kind of... Look at my fingers, they have patterns on them! What does that processor say again? Uh, it says IMC11 Intel uh, Reserved Core TM trademark i7-4790K at 4.0 gigahertz. And then it's black around the edges because it kind of cooked itself to death, but... Oh, you need a mini screwdriver! Yeah, get mini screwdriver. Oh, I almost grabbed a full size screwdriver. Do you know where I can find one of those? In a drawer. That's incredibly helpful. Whoa! Oh. Australian cattle dog is coming. We're getting kind of concerned about you. Oh, you should probably do a time lapse of how long I was gone for. Very long time. Very long ah, time. do you hear that scratching at the door? It's the evil. It's the evil cattle dog trying to get in. Right, so it's sort of like a needle. So give me your arm. 
and it will inject it right into your vein. Ah, just what I get high off of, <clears throat> silver okay. compounds. So I'm told with the compound, all you need is one uh, little dab in the middle, and that's all you'll need. Put a little, feet, a little bit more. No, I'm actually told that's how much you need. Otherwise, you can actually overdo it, and you can get it all over this green stuff, which isn't good. But I've never done this before. Oh, God. Is that enough? Maybe a little bit more. It's kind of... Sure, that looks like it's enough. Just a little. You seen how much was on that thing? That should be good. It'll squeeze out like a nice thing of melted butter. So beautiful, like an angel in disguise. It's beautiful. I know everyone on the channel loves me singing, especially singing Nuclear Active. All right, let's, um, to high hopes this will reach and that we don't break it immediately. Installation going as planned. Mm -hmm. It's not going anywhere. Huh? That's it. I didn't see that's it. No, it's not. Clicking. There it goes. There we go. Oh my good lord! Is that plate actually meant to be pushed on? What? What plate? This metal plate you were touching. Uh, this is, uh, built into something. Oh, this is- this It's keeps, a heat sink. This keeps the massive things on there. Yeah, that is a heat sink. Oh, that one was really quite simple now that the other ones are in. Like that's in fire enough, right? No, it didn't pop. Sure, I heard it pop. No, it didn't. Hey, you heard the pop? It's in. No, it slid back, see? It's, it's not in all of it. It's in. No, it's not. All right, say so. There it goes. Told you. All right. All right. Let's get that plate. Uh, yeah. This has been very stressful. I don't think it's coming off. All right, let's get those screws in and see if the sucker starts. That noise should not be made. Okay, I think I got, oh wait, wait, wait. Wait, yes. Yeah. It's in? Maybe. No. Yes, oh, wait, maybe. Yeah, yeah, it's in, it's in. I'm literally getting more and more behind. The, the further, the closer we actually get to becoming modern, we're still behind. We still only use HDMI and VGA. To DVI adapters. Yeah. Like what on earth? Although technically on my computer, all I use is HDMI, so I'm more advanced. Oh, all right then. I think you're missing anybody. Sure I am. Tell me when to press the button. What? No, we're gonna press it together. Teamwork. This is terrifying. Found it. Is this the one that's usually plugged in? I don't know. Alright, sorry to rough house you guys. Which monitors are gonna boot to? Alright, look through the side window. Yeah. And tell me, do you see red lights? No. Do you yes. see red lights now? Yes. Alright, let me come over there. Turn it on? Yep. I see blue lights. It's a good sign. I think I can swing. I hear it, the lights are. It's later F2. It's running. Alright. I think we will. Yes, we've gone into BIOS. Yeah! I want to see. Um... Hold on, let me get the camera. CPU is running at 30 degrees Celsius and steady. Sorry guys, I uh, did not mean to show you a pop filter. Look at that, 30, 31, 30 Celsius. That's actually really good. Ignore. 
Motherboard temperatures, a nice uh, cool 26. So does it appear to be functioning normally? Uh, yeah, if we if it the uh, if the CPU fan wasn't working, we'd be seeing temperatures in uh, excess of eighty degrees Celsius right now. So we should boot. Uh, if you want, we can. Exit. Uh, discard changes and exit. All right. That's not our main monitor. That it's that one. Oh gosh, it's starting Windows. There's not a competition for colors in there now. It's blue. Is the other monitor even on? Yeah. It always boots to this one though. Yeah, mine boots to that one too. Actually, both. I really hope your computer doesn't boot boot to this no. monitor. Uh, that'd be really. Scary. Actually, both computers always booted to that monitor first. Oh yeah, because it's probably designed to be more full screen. Yeah, right? and then. And then we're getting some action on that screen, and that screen apparently turned off for the moment. So yeah guys, that's basically how you install a Gamax 400 semi-professionally. Yeah, as you can see, Steve loves his 5 million desktop backgrounds icons. Yeah, I do. Yeah. It's got some nice Middle Eastern city or something there. It's installing a lot of drivers right now. Alright guys, so... I think that's about it. What do you say, Steve? Um... Thank you. And as always, we will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Press the record button, don't you? Yeah. Press the top, yeah, the camera button thing. Oh, there. Yeah, it's updating.